In this video, I will show you how to solve this issue on GNS3. The solar putty won't launch or it's very slow. I will show you two process to solve this issue. First process is we will fix the solar putty issue. The next process is we will use putty instead of solar putty. If you uninstalled or haven't installed the solar putty then you need to install it again. Open your web browser and search for solar putty download. Choose the second option which is the softpedia. Scroll down and click download. Click download external mirror one. If the download did not start then click the option to start it manually. The file is only 1.9 kilobytes. Let's check the downloaded file. You need first to extract the file. Open the folder, double click on it to install. Done. The solar putty has been installed. Let's go back to GNS3. No matter what I do, the solar putty won't launch. Let's fix first the solar putty issue. Go to search. Type solar putty. You can click on open file location or right click on the solar putty app and choose open file location. Right click on the application then choose properties. Look for the target tab and copy the link. Make sure to copy the complete link. Now, go to edit. Preferences. Go to console applications. Under console settings, click on edit. Here comes the important part. Do not change this telnet onwards. We will only change the solar putty.exe. Delete it and paste the link you copied from the application target. Make sure you copied and paste the complete link. Click OK. Click apply to save the changes. Let's now test to launch the solar putty on GNS3. Great. It's now working. If that did not solve your issue then you can proceed to the second process. Go to edit. Preferences. Go to console applications. Under console settings, click edit. Expand the predefined command. Choose putty normal standalone version. Click OK. Click OK again to save the changes. Now, launch the console. Notice that we are now using the putty instead of solar putty. Next process is if the console launch very slow then do this process. Go to edit. Preferences. Go to console applications. Under delay between each console, make sure to set it to default which is 50 milliseconds. Click OK once done. Well. That's all for today's demonstration and I hope you found this video useful. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing tutorials, thank you and see you in the next video.